In the previous video, we were discussing about ng model directive, which is used to capture the form data. So whenever we entered some values in our form, the values which we update in our form will get updated in our object using ng model directive. But one point which you need to remember in this case is the properties which are appearing over here sometimes may not appear. This is because or some of the properties may get skip while appearing over here. And this case is because if you are not including name attribute for the input tag. If you are not including name attribute even though if you are using ng model directive it will fail to appear over here the property. So make sure that for each input tag you make use of name attribute. Okay. And so we used ng model directive to capture the form data in the previous case. But we had a requirement where we want to populate the data by default, the data in the form by default. So how we can do that? Let's see now. We can achieve that by using data model. Okay. So first let's create a data model. Inside our app, let's create a new folder and name it as data. Okay. And inside this data, we need to create a file which will shape our form data, which will shape our form data means the folder which we create over here that is data should contain an interface file which provides the shape for our data model. Okay. Let's create that next by clicking on new file. Let's name this file as registration. Registration.ts. Okay. And inside this file, we need to create shape for our data model. Shape for our data model means the values which we want to store in our form, we need to decide which data type they take. Okay. So let's do that now. Export keyword so that this file can be accessed in other modules, other components. Export interface registration. Okay. Name we want. Okay. String type. Notifications. And these properties of the fields which I am going to create over here to shape our data model must match with the values which we have given so far. So for our form we created name first, name field, then notification. So let's follow the same approach while creating the data types for this. Okay. And this will be boolean. Alerts. This is also boolean gender okay and gender should be string type subscription type okay of type string and finally i want notes of type string okay so this is the interface file which we have created which provides shape for our data model. So next step what we need to do is for each of these properties or the fields which we have created over here these properties we need to initialize these properties with some values. So how we can do that we need to make use of this interface file we need to initialize these values that we need to include inside template driven form component dot ts. So let's open template driven form component dot ts. Here let's create a local variable for registration. Okay. Which takes the registration dot ts this this file that is the registration interface which we created over here it will take data from it. So we need to pass registration see here the intel sense shows us auto import from data slash registration interface registration so just click on this so that the registration will get imported from here registration.ts so inside this we need to initialize values for name 
okay i want to initialize with some value okay then notification notifications this i'll set to true because it takes a boolean value then alerts i'll set to true gender this i'll pass a string over here mail subscription type subscription type is also a string so let's pass annual and finally notes okay some notes so we have passed all this so what is the problem we are facing over here why it is appearing in red let's see now okay declaration or statement ex expected at 21 3 okay which is missing over here so cannot find name ng on unit and the error over here is 19.3 see if you observe over here registration we should give equals here that equals is missing okay so these are the properties which we have initialized so far now one more error which is appearing over here is notes colon whatever the value string which you have passed over here here there should not be a semicolon okay save the changes now we have created shape for our data model and we have initialized the values for each of these properties so next step what we need to do is go to template driven form component dot html and instead of giving user form dot value let's pass this registration which have initialized values over here so let's remove this registration okay control s to save the changes now if you observe the web page you can see that the object which got created over here is a having set of default values already populated over here that is for name which we provided over here the value name we provided harsha so it's appearing notifications true okay alerts true gender male subscription type annual notes some notes now suppose if you make some changes over here okay for example over here i am going to add and i'll say the changes you can see that the object also got updated over here the notes the field the property got updated with the updated value when we are passing through here so this is how we are going to populate default values for the object but i have a requirement where i want to populate default values for my form too whatever the form fields appearing over here are not having default values i want something like these values also should be updated by default and whenever i am updating a new value from the default value see this new value which i provided over here is not getting updated to this object the object value here the harsha is getting from here but the whatever the value i am providing in this form field is not getting updated in our object this is because this is only one one way data is getting flow in this case but we need both ways like whenever we are updating the fields the object also should get updated and these form fields by default it should be filled so to, to accept this to achieve this what we can do is we need to make use of two way data binding by making use of two way data binding we are telling angular that whenever i am updating these fields in our form i want you to update the object also object also should get updated whenever i am updating the fields in our form so how we can achieve this by using two way data binding 
let's look at this in our next video thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos